Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is February 16, 2022. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day. So as the Russian-Ukrainian conflict subsides, the market are returning to something as we call normal, at least normal for now. But first, looking at the major economic events of the day at 9 p.m. South African time out of the United States, we have a FOMC meeting minutes. Now, this is really a follow up to the last rate decision where the Central Bank of the United States, the Federal Reserve, actually gives in front of Congress what's their plan. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the Australian dollar has a crossover opportunity. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. And looking at the indices, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones both bounce. In terms of commodities, gold correct itself at resistance and oil sells off. Now looking at the stocks also mix. And lastly, Bitcoin just steady. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to first take a look at the Euro USD. We got that bounce yesterday and we're about I would say 25% of our move, okay, between our correctional move. Now, you know, ideally speaking, I'd like to get somewhere in this 14 to show me that it's still strong, but I'm not sure that we're going to get that. Okay, we might be in a very tight range when it comes to the Euro USD. So nothing to really play big on, okay, but just note that we are also in between the two moving averages, right? The eight day moving average and the 30 day moving average. So no, nothing really big jumping out at me here. Look at GBP USD. Look at that flat line. I mean, this has been a very, very tight range for the GBP USD. So nothing really happening here. But looking at the Aussie USD, check it out. We're crossing over in the 30 day moving average, okay, to 71.59. That might be a nice little boost up, okay, as we get back to the 71.86, oh, a 71, 72-ish level, okay. So it's a 50 to you know 60 pip possible move okay not bad all right so it might want to be something that you'd look into all right and follow this as this correct itself now jumping into commodities looking for us to gold gold yesterday really corrected itself all right we hit 1878 which was a previous resistance the upper resistance okay of our tight range between 1848 obviously and and various smaller um, minor resistance -ish levels, okay? Uh, but that was a major resistance level, 1878, 1880. And sure enough, we did retrace from that. Now we haven't retraced further, but I do believe we will get to this 1828. So just keep this in mind, all right, for possible entry area there. Now looking at crude oil, this has really been very interesting. We sold off yesterday after the conflict kind of subsided and uh, Russian troops were called back from $95 down to $91. That's a four buck move. Now, we have not been here in a very, very long time. Okay, we haven't been in the 90s for a long, long time, even before the pandemic. And I would say since 2008. 20 ish level to 2019 ish level so this is something really very important that we've you know co collectively corrected ourselves look at that okay but this is the biggest sell-off that we had so what does this mean i believe we'll be in a tight range here okay i don't think we're going to sell off down to the 81 83 ish level because i think that travel is going to be open i think countries are coming to terms with the fact that the corona disease or coronavirus is just something that we're going to have to live with on a daily basis okay so i think we're going to come back to I would say 75% normal travel, okay, uh, and consumption. So, you know, so take a look at that as this unfolds as well. Now, looking at the individual stocks, Apple got a nice boost yesterday, a gap up and go. And this was also fueled by the market, the positive news. Facebook is still dead, okay? So it's through, really, it's a mixed bag here. Although it was up during the day, about $2, but it's dead, okay? What I mean by that is that, you know, it's not coming back to the $350 range, okay, anytime soon. And that might lead the market further down if we have this systemic kind of situation. Microsoft got a boost to $300 a share. Amazon's still pretty strong at $31.25. So it's not across the board that everything is weak, but it's a mixed bag, okay? Now, looking at Tesla, also got a nice little bounce yesterday from 8 78 up to 921 that's a decent push for it on the upside now lastly looking at bitcoin okay this is jp morgan before looking at bitcoin just want to mention this as well we're hitting that resistance level at the eight day moving average that's important okay but we did get a spike up yesterday from 141 to up to 154 that's a big move on the upside for a listed stock okay that's really important to know now lastly looking at bitcoin 
and we got to the last foray, we're at resistance. 44,800 is that resistance. If we break above it, then we could hit 50,000 again, okay? But if we fall to here at 4481, then we're going back to this 4167, okay? So just keep that in mind as this is still unfolding. Is there strength? Yes, it's steady, but it doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily pop up. No, give it a chance, let it see how it unfolds, and then you'll know better what to do. This is Fred Rezac, I want to wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.